Air Blue is Pakistan's oldest privately owned airline, having been founded in 2003. Many of you have probably heard of Air Blue, but I'm sure you've never heard of their brand new sister airline, Air Bonn. Air Bonn is a new upcoming low-cost airline that will be based in the West Coast United States. The airline just received its first aircraft, bringing it one step closer to officially launching operations. This is the first ever video on YouTube regarding Air Bonn, so I'll do my best to explain what this new airline is all about. That being said, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Airbon was established in February 2018 by Mr. Tarek Chaudhry, the founder and CEO of Air Blue. Right off the bat, I'm very confused by the airline's name because Bonn is the German word for train. What? The name Air Bonn doesn't really convey what the airline is about, nor does it have any relation to where the airline is based or who owns it. So if anyone has any information regarding the origin of the name Air Bonn, I'm very curious to hear it. Air Bonn applied for its Air Operator Certificate, or AOC, in October 2018, and this still has not been granted to the airline as of now. Some good news though is that Air Bonn's management plans to complete the certification process as early as next month. However, this could extend into early 2022 depending on logistical issues. Air Bonn will be based out of the West Coast United States, more specifically in California. The airline plans to establish its main hub at one of the smaller major airports in California, such as Long Beach, Orange County, or Ontario. Some potential first destinations for Air Bonn include Las Vegas, Nevada, and even as far north as Calgary, Canada. Air Bonn will be a low-cost airline, and if successful, will become the third low-cost airline to launch in the United States within the past year. Other new low-cost airlines that have launched in the U.S. this year include Avello Airlines and Breeze Airways, who both appear to be doing very well. Air Bonn plans to initially launch with one Airbus A320-200. This aircraft is registered as November 786 Papa Bravo and was recently delivered to the airline on November 1st. This aircraft previously flew with Air Bonn's sister airline, Air Blue, with registration Alpha Papa Echo Delta Alpha. It was delivered to Air Blue in 2010 and flew with the airline for over a decade until being withdrawn from service in 2020. A few months back, the aircraft flew from Karachi to Istanbul where it received a full maintenance check. It was later re-registered to an American registration and repainted into the Airbon livery, which, to be fair, is not all that different from Air Blue. Fast forward to just a few days ago where the aircraft flew from Istanbul to Ontario, California, making refueling stops in Reykjavik, Iceland and Bangor, Maine. It's unclear if Airbonne's future planes will also come from Air Blue or from various aircraft leasing companies. Airbonne's A320s will feature 174 seats in an all-economy class layout, which is standard for that aircraft type. Because Airbonne and Air Blue are sister airlines, it makes sense that their liveries are very similar. Aside from the most obvious differences being in the names, the real difference in liveries becomes apparent when you look at the tail and winglets. Air Blue's tail design features the crescent moon, a prominent feature of the Pakistani flag. Furthermore, the winglets on Air Blue aircraft also feature some rendition of the Pakistani flag. Similarly, Air Bond's tail design is decorated with stars, representing the 50 stars on the American flag, which represent the 50 states. Also, the winglets on Air Bond aircraft will have some sort of American flag rendition, which, now that I look at it, is nearly identical to what Virgin America had on their planes back when they existed. Air Bonn is still very much in its developing stages. The airline has not officially announced any routes nor have they given an official launch date, and their website very much reflects this. As you can see, the website makes it clear that the airline is coming soon and also includes a hyperlink to the various job openings Air Bonn is offering. As you can see, these job offerings are based at airports like Oakland, Sacramento, and San Jose, so maybe these three cities will be served by Air Bonn in the future. Now do keep in mind that Air Bonn, of course, is an airline that we do not know much about, hence why this video was quite short. Air Bonn's sister airline, Air Blue, has been doing very well and just recently became the first airline in Pakistan to take delivery of the brand new Airbus A321neo. I never thought I would ever see the day that a Pakistani-owned airline would ever launch operations in the United States. If you can't already tell, this is a really big deal to me as an American of Pakistani descent and someone who has been following the Pakistani aviation industry's growth for years with keen interest. Air Bonn 100% has my full support and I pray that they will have the best of success when they launch in the future. 
Let me know what you think of Airbon and whether or not they will succeed in the comments below. This YouTube channel has done a lot in promoting Pakistani aviation to the world over the past few years and so hence I feel justified in creating this video. I hope you enjoyed watching today and if you want to read more on Airbon, I linked all of the great sources that I used to make this video in the description. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment with any feedback, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.